the reason really why I'm here today is not to mystify VR and to tell you that it's magical and it's going to solve all your problems. It's to try and see if we can approach VR marketing in a way that we actually bring, uh, bring uh, results. Uh, when I say that too much VR is terrible, that picture is John Travolta in a VR crime series called Speed Kills. That's probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> What's cool today is not to own an expensive suit or car. What's cool today is to go to Burning Man to learn Brazilian or Portuguese to go to the World Cup final and see France win. Um, the, 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 the social currency of today is experience, not ownership. And 78% is, is a number from a Harris uh, study from two years ago. That's the number of the, the proportion of uh, millennials who, given a certain amount of money, would rather buy an experience than buy a product. We call it the age of experience. And for brands, this is huge because brands, brands cannot communicate anymore that much about their products. Brands have to communicate about the experiences that the products are, are unlocking. Similarly, we worked with the Champions League, and the challenge here was how can we reward the Champions League fan? What's the ultimate dream of, of some of those fans? And uh, we discovered that it's probably nothing better than raising the Champions League trophy being the captain of your favorite team, or in that case, the Juventus or, uh, or Real Madrid. So that's what we did. So the idea here is create a very strong bond between the brand and the customer, not by shoving the products down their throat, but by giving them a unique experience that only your brand can give. Cheers.